big sign over there that says low cost parking. I didn't fail to see the sign that says £100 um, fine. It's not very clear. Rowena Finn is livid. Earlier this week, she and friends headed out to the Apollo Cinema in Altrincham to watch a film. They each paid £8.50 for their ticket, but their decision to park at the Goose Green car park opposite forced each driver to fork out another £100 because the film ended at 10.45 whilst the car park shut at 10.30. There was about six or seven of us um, who had our cars locked in the car park there wasn't a telephone number to contact anyone to try and release our cars, so we were all stranded. Um, so we all had to go home, come back in the morning to find we had a clamp on our car and we had to pay £100 to release it. Now, although there are signs saying at what time the car park closes, a lot of drivers still get caught out. And Rowena thinks that that's because of where they're placed, high above the entrance, just at the point when a lot of motorists are distracted by getting their ticket. And the sign telling people about the £100 fine for parking overnight is also pretty hard to spot, situated behind a fence to the far right of the entrance. It's not the first time the car park's been criticised for the lack of clarity of its policies and fines that many people feel are extortionate. Staff at the cinema say that people regularly get caught out. Actor Chris Bisson was with Rowena when she returned to collect her car the following morning. He also feels that the Goose Green car park is taking advantage of customers and that just because it can hold drivers to ransom doesn't mean that it should. They should make it more clear, because the people that are doing the accounts are going, oh, we're getting a lot of fines in, aren't we? A lot of people are parking here overnight. Surely that tells them that there's a problem, you know, and they've got, you know, they should have a duty of care to the customers. The management of the car park has refused to comment on its policies. Georgia Calvin-Smith, Channel M News.